So I did an interview with No Jumper. It was really dope, man. Um, we talked about Boosie and his brother's issue. Boosie, his brother was out there, you know, to you know face me and whack 100. Um, we asked him the tough questions. Um, Y'all should watch the interview on No Jumper, and you know, you guys can decide if he actually stole from Boosie or not. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we asked him all the tough questions. But one of the things that came out that was interesting was uh, Tariq Nasheed, and you know him spreading hate so it's africans you know what i'm saying so not to get too deep into it i want you guys to watch it um you know but i had to you know get my thoughts and my opinions out there you know um i think he has an audience that he's mobilizing against immigrants but the immigrants don't have power to, to dictate what goes on in america this is a white man's country you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like the hitler thing where you look for somebody that you think you can go at to create division and turn people against those group of people you feel me when those group of people may not have the power to dictate what happens in the country you know what i mean but it's because you think they're the ones you can attack you do that you know what i'm saying you mobilize people against them um so when i had the platform i had to speak up you know because if you want anything to happen in this country it's the white man's signature so that's who you should go at not the africans but watch the content share your opinions below um, and watch the full interview on um, No Jumper. Do you yeah, identify my country? Are you an FBI? I'm from Ghana. You, from you Ghana identify right? as an FBI? Huh? Do you identify as an FBA? No, that's what you know about FBA. That's huh? so major. Man, you know yeah. shout out to my what man Tariq. I never go. knew what a tether was. Go. Now I know what a tether is. <laughs> that's I'm, what I'm sure that's me, offensive man. for me to say that. I don't know what that is. A tether, a tether is a guy who comes from Africa and tries to act like he is an American. That's and tries to fit in. That's Ola. Well, oh, yo, listen, they call every African no. don't like that. All I know is East Coast, West Coast, Midwest. Yeah. He knows the South, all our slang. Yeah. On phone them and all. Yo, all of me on club, I was talking about on phone them. I said, oh, phone. Yo. If, you're in, if you're straight out of Africa and you're saying on phone them, that's what? funny. That's this funny. motherfucker right here. But all the cool, though. All the cool, cool. He's about seven cool. feet tall, though. Yeah, yeah. I think okay, he played basketball man, oh, overseas and shit. Yeah, yeah he but he's people. like he a U.S. citizen now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he talks like all our slang mixed in one. Okay, yeah. I like it. Influence, huh? What about Flacco? Influence. Does Flacco count? Flacco from North Dakota. Yeah, but he from Liberia. Liberia, right? right? yeah. Liberia via North Dakota. But Tariq Nasheed, he don't like Hold Africans, on. man. And he just finds every way <laughs> Hold to on. just race hustle Hold and just on, no Africans jumper. under the bus. Wow. It's interesting. They put you onto the FBA stuff. It's very interesting, Who man. Who put well, because I interviewed Tariq, and he's just blaming oh, okay. everything you could possibly talk about. He just blames it on the non-FBAs. Yeah. He's like, well, what's yeah. FBA? What's the, foundational what's the... black Americans, so okay. basically okay. someone who came from slavery. They they, they think Africans are here oh, like taking their jobs, and and it's like, bro, this, this is America. This, this, is, a, this is a white man's country, man. We don't got no power. And they here. resent that, like, you know? in Harvard, a person from Nigeria who just came over counts as a black person the same way that a, a person who's been in America for a couple hundred years, their family lineage, so counts it, as it, a black person. But it's not the Nigerian. You got to tell the white man to change that. Because the Nigerian can't change. The Nigerian that's coming here don't have the power to dictate that. that. Yeah, yeah. The really white, you got to go to the white man and say, yo, separate us. We going to be black and call them Africans. Don't put us together black slash African. Mm. The African can't do that. It's so true. it's like you mad at the wrong person. Yeah. You know what I mean? So and, and that's but but Tariq, he's he be hustling. That's that's his whole thing. You know, it's like he he push hate and he make money from that. You know what I'm saying? I Like, I'm not going to say the dude is not trying to build something. Right. But he found like uh, like a niche, like people who are just mad at Africans and he just antagonized them. And it's like, yo, let's let's go with these people, you know? And yeah, I like the guy, but the way that he just con consistently just goes back to everything being a non FBA thing is kind of yeah. like unreal. Yeah. Well, you know, I think people need, they need something and somebody to blame. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Last thing we need is more division. Yeah, yeah they right. need something and somebody to blame. Last thing we need. Like, look so, at us here all seeing here. Like, they yeah. need something and somebody to blame. You know,